Hello, my name is Daniel Stepanov, and I want to talk about our experience in making bounded model checking in the procedural in static analysis style. Bounded model checking is a one of most uh, popular and promising methods of static analysis. It's an, uh, it is an extension of uh, mo uh, classical model checking. Uh, it uh, considering only uh, bounded ways uh, of program executions. Uh, by unrolling loops and restriction recursion. And uh, one of the hardest problems uh, in BMC is interprocedural analysis, because in uh, mode without interprocedural analysis, we are getting a lot of false positives, uh, decreasing our uh, precision of analysis. And uh, uh, if we applying a standard, standard approach uh, is in function aligning. Uh, we, off, we, can, we can met a uh, program state explosion problem. Uh, it leads to uh, impossibility of uh, program analysis because size and complexity of uh, unrolled uh, and inlined program. And alternative uh, approach to function inlining is con context sensitive analysis. Like, uh, which we, we tried to implement in uh, bounded model checking algorithm. There are uh, several methods that they can uh, try, uh, that, uh, that tried to deal with uh, problem, aligning problem. One of them is uh, in Craig Interpolant. Uh, main disadvantage of this method uh, that Craig Inter Interpolant can be built only for inconsistent parent formulas. In terms of BNC, it means that uh, we can build Craig Interpolant uh, for function that uh, doesn't contain a bug. It's good, but it's uh, not what we want to do uh, to have. Sorry. Uh, next method is uh, external specifications that can be, uh, that uh, should be write manually. And uh, its main disadvantage of uh, these methods, uh, it can be right uh, with a special annotation comment on it with using of domain specific languages. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of tools uh, that are trying to deal with this problem uh, by their way. For example, Saturn, it uh, builds function summaries for each function, stores uh, uh, it on hard drive, uh, and uh, they have uh, separate summaries for each type of analysis. And uh, if we changing something in function, we, we need to recalculate a new summary for this function. Here is a scheme uh, of uh, bounded model checking algorithm. We have unrolled program P and safety property Q, translating it to first order logic formula, and, this com uh, and then combining program and negation of safety property and sending it to SMT or set solver that uh, can decide uh, SAT or unsat. Uh, its safety property always holds for uh, program or not. Here is a verification example. We have a program that have several variables, y, z, and w. z, uh, uh, sign <coughs> z equals uh, y minus 1, or uh, w is, uh, equals uh, y plus 1. And we checking either uh, z equals 7 or W equals nine. We are uh, building uh, constraints on the right side on slide and sending it to a CT solver that uh, answer us uh, that and that. Our cert always true. There is no way to restrict, uh, uh, to violate uh, our assert. If we will change the uh, left side of our uh, assert on uh, Z, Equal five. Uh, SMT solver will found will find a bug and generate counterexample that includes uh, values of variable that violates our assert. 
uh, we decided to implement our algorithm on the basis of Borealis model checking. Borealis model checking is a model checker, model checking, bounded model checking tool. It works with uh, C language. It uses LVM infrastructure to parse C files, uh, then translating, translating it to uh, LVM intermediate representation, then, uh, then uh, LVM intermediate representation translating to uh, Borealis uh, own representation named uh, predicate state. Next, the predicate state translated to SMT uh, formula. And next, uh, SMT solver is send, in SMT formula is sending to SMT solver that uh, making decisions sad or unsad. Here is an example of uh, Borealis program representation on right side of the slide. Uh, it use, uh, it helps to support different SMT solvers. It can be effectively uh, serialized and contains inf only information that needed by solvers. Here is an example of our program. Uh, our problem. Uh, in, fun in function print f, we will check uh, if num uh, violates a bounds of array R. And in basic uh, uh, mode without the procedural analysis, we are getting false positive because if we, if we will see on all calling context of function print F, uh, uh, we can sure that we have no bug. All uses of this function are correct and never leads to uh, error. Okay, uh, our solution. Uh, first, we suggest uh, uh, build call graph from function that uh, potentially uh, contains a bug to main. Next, on, uh, it, it calls uh, bottom-up analysis. Next, uh, we're travers traversing uh, this uh, graph and extracting uh, all information about uh, that affects security uh, variables from security properties. And then we need to somehow combine uh, information from different functions. Here is a call graph for uh, our program example. Uh, function print f uh, calls from function print element, print element calls from uh, main and print next element, and print next element calls from uh, main. Okay, next we need to ha somehow collect uh, all need information that affect uh, variables from security property and remove all uh, irrelevant to it uh, parts of information. For that purpose, we're using uh, static uh, backward slicing with uh, alias analysis that removing all irrelevant path, uh, uh, path of uh, programs to uh, to uh, variables from security property. There is two questions. Uh, how are we dealing with recursion and how are we handling of nested, nested calls? Uh, if we have function uh, that affecting uh, variab variables from security property but not included in call graph. Okay, we uh, choose uh, most simple way how to deal with recursion. We uh, just restricting recursion, uh, unrolled it on one step, and that's all. How we handling recursion? Uh, how we handling nested calls? There is example. We have function get next index that uh, not on way from printf on to main, and we uh, extracting. We decide to extract. Uh, we need to dis. Uh, in, uh, uh, we need to somehow handle information from uh, this from this function uh, to avoid uh, false positive, and we getting needed information. Uh, after extracting uh, information from uh, all functions, we need to somehow merge it. 
Uh, for this purpose, we decide to uh, create quality predicates uh, at junction, junctions on the, on the function uh, uh, in which we assign in uh, par parameter value to argument value. For this, we, for this example, we create, we will create uh, a quality predicate error equal a and now equal zero. Uh, here is uh, resulting uh, predicate state, for example, uh, that uh, considers only one uh, execution context of function printf. Uh, last line is uh, instruction, instruction that will be checked on uh, violates bounds of array. Next, uh, we create quality predicates on junction with function uh, print next element. Uh, we, next, we, we will extract uh, needed information from function get next index, uh, creating uh, uh, equality predicates on junction with function main and extracting needed information from function main. Uh, after we extracting a lot of, uh, after we handling all uh, calling context, we need to somehow combine it. Uh, it's clear that it's just uh, a set of disjoints uh, and for somehow, in order to distinguish between that, we created two synthetic variable that helps to understand which calling context uh, contains a bug. Uh, here is uh, exa example, resulting example for uh, our program. It uh, considering two calling contexts with get next uh, with, with get get next index and without it. Uh, and uh, next, we need to somehow process our big formula to SMT solver. Uh, we can do it by two ways. As one large formula and is each small disjunct separately. Uh, pre preliminary evaluation shows that uh, we should uh, process each small disjunct separately. Uh, and it, it helps to avoid overhead of processing of big uh, SMT formulas by SMT solver. Uh, after, after that, we implemented our approach in Borealis model, model checking and uh, trying to test it. For that purpose, we uh, start Borealis, execute Borealis in uh, free configuration. Basic uh, Borealis uh, without interprocedural analysis, uh, BMC with full inlining, and uh, uh, with our approach. Here is the results. So of our testing. Uh, you can see dash uh, in the column in line. It means that we made program state explosion program and just can't uh, analyze uh, program because of size of resulting uh, formula. Uh, as you can see from table, we always outperform in line mode in, uh, by time and always outperform uh, basic mode by uh, results. Why we are working worse that uh, sometimes working worse than aligning? Because uh, uh, how we dealing with recursion, we just restricting it. Or, and how we handling of nested calls that I told before. Uh, in this work, we choose most simple way. We just looking for one step. And uh, it's a mo most interesting direction of our future work. How long we can uh, see on nested calls, uh, how it uh, uh, influence on size and complexity of resultant formula, and how far we can see <coughs> in nested calls. Uh, finally, uh, our main takeaways as follows. Uh, Interprocedural analysis is still bottleneck uh, for BMC. We have no algorithm that's working like without any procedural and uh, uh, 
showing results like inlining and speed of our algorithm uh, depends not so much on size of the project as complexity uh, of its internal connection. We can analyze program in 1,000 lines uh, uh, longer that program in 10,000 lines because of its uh, complexity. Here is our contact information. If you're interesting, interested in our tool, you can just write. And that's all. Thank you.